Swiss prosecutors are investigating 53 cases of possible money laundering in their inquiry into bidding for the 2018 and 2022 FIFA World Cups. Attorney General Michael Lauber said the incidents had been reported by Swiss banks. He said his office was analyzing a huge amount of seized FIFA data in its inquiry. The Swiss investigation is running in parallel to one being carried out by the U.S. The 2018 and 2022 World Cups were awarded to Russia and Qatar respectively. But leading FIFA official Domenico Scala has said the awards could be cancelled if evidence emerges of bribery. Both countries deny any wrongdoing. FIFA is facing claims of widespread corruption after Swiss police raided a hotel in Zurich, where FIFA is based, and arrested seven of its top executives last month. The seven were held at the request of the U.S. Justice Department which has charged 14 current and former FIFA officials and associates on charges of rampant, systemic, and uprooted corruption. The charges follow a three-year inquiry by the FBI. Also in May, Swiss prosecutors opened separate criminal proceedings against persons unknown on suspicion of criminal mismanagement and of money laundering in connection with the 2018 and 2022 World Cups. However, until now, much less has been revealed about the Swiss investigation than the inquiry being led by the FBI. Mr. Lauber told a news conference that the investigation was huge and complex on many levels and would take a long time. So far our investigative team obtained evidence concerning 104 banking relations, relationships between banks and clients. And, be aware that every banking relation represents several bank accounts, Mr. Lauber said. We note positively that banks in Switzerland did fulfill their duties to file suspicious activity reports. Partly in addition to the 104 banking relations already known to the authorities, banks announced 53 suspicious banking relations via the anti-money laundering framework of Switzerland.